so today is hair day too. Hair day. So we are taking extensions out so that we can color and stick extensions back in. Yeah. Hairdresser Tashina. Yeah. This glue is just loving your hair. Well, this was the new tabs. I know. This was the new tabs. I know. Wow. I so know. the new tabs are pretty freaking sticky then. Yeah. Okay. A little bit. Okay. So we're not going to bore you with showing you the entire process of taking extensions out. But anyways, we're taking extensions out, doing a color, root touch up. Uh, no, this is not all my roots right here. Cause some of this is color that we sprayed in because my gray was showing. So I love how you say roots. It's Root. new growth. <laughs> <sighs> Just like when you say, I'm going to pluck my eyebrows. Tweeze. <laughs> you know, pluck. Pluck, you're going to pluck a chicken. Well, what do you, you don't call it plucking eyebrows? Yeah, do you know that? I mean, women pluck their real eyebrows. No, it's called tweezing. <laughs> So, uh, we're going to dye, dye my, my roots. <laughs> New growth, mother. <laughs> <laughs> so, anyways, yeah. Well, we'll show you progression as we progress today. So, now they are taking the pie board off. Stacking it over here. Got about half of it off on this side. So they've got to get all the ply board off. And then they're going to move this structure up. And then Sergio's over here. They're getting ready to glue the turf down. done today so I guess they're adding the tack strip first these guys have the entire roof off and now they're cutting the board I guess Sergio's a carpet layer too. Hmm. So we don't have to put it on the sides, just the top. Hmm. Interesting. So then he's gonna start that end and roll and stretch. Nice. Okay, we're making progress. And these guys are getting this thing tore apart. It's coming apart piece by piece. Oh, 
voló un poquito para acá. Empezamos aquí ya. ¿Ah? Y esto nos recompensa con el play. Ya queda bien, mire, 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 Looks like they got one side down and glued. They're taking a break. Then they gotta do this side over here. Baby steps. Now the sun's coming out, so it's gonna get hotter. done. It's going to look good. The electrical stuff is going to get done tomorrow. My electrician's coming tomorrow so we can hang fans and put some lights out here so they can even play at night. So I'm busy stretching carpet right now. I shouldn't say carpet, it's turf. It's going to look good. Yes. These guys are going to town getting this thing torn apart. So hopefully, this is Tuesday, so hopefully by Friday, this is all put back together and raised higher. So that next week, maybe on Monday, the roofer could come back and put the metal roof back on. Yeah. Okay. Coming along, coming along. So we now have the hair extensions taken out and they're drying. <laughs> And we're gonna get ready to retab them and let them set here because now we're getting ready to do my dye on my new growth, as my daughter says. Don't call them roots, mom, call them new growth. So, anyways, it's all a process, it's all a process. Oh my God, this looks so dark. Oh, <laughs> okay. So y'all know what I normally look like with my hair um, when it's done and it's fixed and whatnot. So you know how the roots look dark. I think we'll flash a picture up here of me with my fixed hair. So this is the actual color that my daughter uses on my new growth. I don't have extensions in right now. So that's how long my hair is on its own. But anyways, some of you want to know what we use for my hair. So it's called Color Fusion by Redken. And she uses a 5NGI. And of course she uses 20 volume. But yeah, so this is the, this is the stuff we use for my new growth. Which is the darker roots. But like I said, we'll, we'll, Put a photo up real fast of my blonde and my dark roots. This is how long my hair is on its own. Boom. And these are my extensions over here waiting to be retabbed. So see my new growth that we just colored. 
is that darker color right here. And then we have the blonde. So it's a process, it's a process, it's a process. But anyways, we took the extensions out. We are coloring my hair. Well, I should say my hair. We are putting the new growth color on. I'm gonna wash and blow dry it, leave it out for tonight. Put my hair in a ponytail to work out tomorrow, whatever, whatever. And then put the extensions back in. So I'm gonna sit here and retab them tonight. So love this hair, guys. If you are looking for extensions, love this brand. It's called Intact. Intact. We will leave their information in the description box below so you can check them out. But I love them. I used to be a Bellamy girl and now I am an intact girl. Intact. And then we're gonna put the color combination down below also. Love, 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 love. Yeah. The electricians are here. So we're gonna be putting ceiling fans off top. We're trying to figure out where the plug is on the inside of my house to be able to put a switch, lights, and all of that. So we have the electricians here. We got Sergio's guys over there getting ready to lift the carport. So, oh, and the lawn guys are back there still putting mulch all the way around the property. So, busy, busy, busy. <laughs> They got one post down on the far side, taking down the middle. Yeah, a lot of work goes into this. So, as you all know, nothing goes according to plan. <laughs> we always have hiccups, but that's okay. That's how we land on our feet and we just adapt. It's like being a chameleon -er. Chameleon? -er? No, a chameleon. <laughs> chameleon. A chameleon. Uh, I used to know a rapper named Chameleon. -er. Yeah, that's all like that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he used to live in my neighborhood. That's why I. Hey. Yes. Wow. Yeah. When I first moved into Carlton Woods in 2007, Chameleon Air lived in Carlton Woods. Yes, he did. And now one of my girlfriends owns his home. So when he moved out, she bought his house, but totally redid it. She didn't like how he had it. Believe that. Wow. Anyways, that's part of being a chameleon is like just learning how to adapt, strategically moving around, never letting anything throw you off course. So anyways, Today's crazy day, still don't have my extensions back in, but my hair is under this baseball cap because I have to go to a doctor's appointment with Lamar. <laughs> and I don't have my extensions in, so I'm trying, I'm trying to go and look, not cute, but you know, presentable. <laughs> I feel kind of naked without my extensions, believe it or not, even though my hair's long, like it's weird. Anyways, so baseball cap on, I am running to an, a doctor's appointment with Lamar. Oh, they're trying to figure out how to handle this pain that he's in. So it's really weird. I can show you a video right now, a little clip of a year ago, a year ago this month. 
walking without a stick. Look at there. Uh-huh. Look who can walk without the stick. Mm-hmm. No cane, no walker, no nothing. Yep. How well Lamar was doing. How well Lamar was walking without the walker, without the walking stick. I mean, like, and now a year later, we're so backwards. Like, we have gone, we have slid backwards so bad. So we're just trying to figure out why and what's going on. So anyways, um, just trying to keep you guys in the loop. So I'm out the door. Fab's going to be here working. Tashina's working. And we are getting things done. But I am trying to get out the door. So I will catch you guys later with an update on Lamar. It's like half the day is over with and I still don't have my extensions in. <laughs> yeah, you're gone a long time. <laughs> you know, what's up with doctor's offices? Really? Like, I think they just think that none of us have anything to do but just sit in their offices. That's because you have an appointment. <laughs> God forbid if I didn't have an appointment. Like, how much longer would I have to sit there? So, update on Lamar is they're going to try to stick some kind of a trial simulator stimulator stimulator a trial stimulator to control the pain in his back so we go in uh, may 7th mm -hmm. to have this trial stimulator put in his back it has to stay in for seven days so then on the morning of the 13th they will take it out mm -hmm. they will determine if it did any good if it does do good, then they go in and put a permanent one in there. If it didn't do any good, we're back to square one. Wow. These are pain specialists. They don't believe in opioids because opioids can be addiction. Hmm. So they try to do th things the more natural way. So you guys want updates on Lamar? That's where we're at. Um, like I said, you saw the video of what he was like a year ago. Mm -hmm. um, up until about two weeks ago, you saw him maybe still walking the driveway periodically, but now he's he's not walking the driveway anymore. Um, he's been extremely weak these last couple weeks. Hasn't been working out with the PT person either. So we don't know if it was a passing bug illness or if this is where we're at now. Mm. But he's been on the walker now for what? You guys only see him on the walking stick, mm -hmm. walking the driveway, because that's what I share with you guys. I have not really shown you guys that he's back. He's been back on the walker in the house for about four or five months now. Mm -hmm. Because originally we had taken that walker when you saw that video clip here a minute ago of him walking. The walker had gotten put back upstairs in the attic and he was literally being able to walk periodically with the walking stick periodically with nothing and mm -hmm. he was like progressing we were like woo and about six months ago we had to get the walker back out of the attic so we're trying everything guys we're trying everything but anyways i need to get back inside i think my daughter just left to go get the twins so <laughs> extensions are still not going back in my hair yet <laughs> I'm like, please hurry, I feel naked. <laughs> and I have to go to the country club tonight for dinner. So please, please fix all of this before. <laughs> so let's get inside and get back to work. All right, where are you dragging me to? <laughs> well, you know, this is like Grand Central Station. We do get packages every day. Yeah. So these are the packages we were getting from the UK. Oh. Sending me packages. So this is from Net World Sports. So this has to do with the driving range in the back. So this should be netting. And this is only two of 10 boxes. Yeah, there's like a ton. Yeah, there's lots of boxes. But anyways, we're gonna take these back. So Sergio, who just pulled up, can see what we're dealing with. And then I need to touch base with Sophie to see where the tent vinyl is because that's the vinyl that they're going to hit against you yeah. know and then they're jackhammering concrete as you see 
if you can hear me now. Can you hear me now? <laughs> can you hear me now? <laughs> I'm telling you. Have you missed a fab? I missed a noise. Like, like. I missed the quiet out here and I missed the noise. <laughs> How is it still going on after this time? Actually, I'm not surprised. You know we're never done. <laughs> I'm not surprised. How long were you with me at 47 Grand Agency? 18, 18 to 19. Uh huh. 19 to 20. Uh huh. 20 to 20. 20. Four years. Yeah. Four years at Grand Regency. <laughs> Did it ever stop? No. Never. And the house is done. <laughs> <laughs> We're never done. Never. Haven't you figured that out yet? <laughs> We're never done. Wow. Well, this is what's inside the boxes. So I still have three boxes that are in here that I have not taken outside yet. And I just happened to open them. And these are the netting. So we ordered eight nets. This is five of the nets. So we now have five nets. There's three here. There's two outside. So we've got five out of the eight nets. So that means we've still got three more nets to arrive, plus two more golf driving mats. So that must be arriving tomorrow. Oh, Lord have mercy. Okay, well, I'll carry these out to the area later because we are about to get started on my hair and get this extension thing finished. So, anyways, okay, we're getting closer to getting this golf thing done. No, I'm not doing this by myself. There's somebody back there, really. You see her head? <laughs> And then we have a upper management over here, overseeing, making sure. <laughs> We're being snacks, <laughs> making sure they're not poisoned. Okay, you ready? Making sure everything, which side are you on? I'm on the left. Making sure everything is doing accordingly to the plan. So we are now sticking extensions back in. Look how dark these roots are compared to my actual hair. But it matches like perfect. It is good. I like it with a dark one. I like the darker root, don't mm -hmm. you? It's a lot it's a lot that's a lot of upkeep, but what the hell's not upkeep? Exactly. Like there's people that wear lash extensions like my daughter. Mm. Yes. I used to until I got an eye infection. What's that noise? Mother what's that noise? Camera? Oh, I was like, damn, what's that noise? Okay. Anyways, um, there's there's all kinds of maintenance and upkeep that remember we do. You were platinum. Remember when I was a platinum blonde? Oh my god! And then it started turning so gray looking. I I look back now. Why didn't you tell me it looked like shit? I was hired to be a yes man. That was in the job description. I don't, I don't remember that being in the job description. Uh, and the ad just said needs a yes man. <laughs> You're so and full I was shit. like, <laughs> You're so full of shit. Oh my god, that needs to be a badge also for the well. I don't ever remember anybody saying they needed a yes man. Look, in that era it looked amazing. It I think in the beginning it started. I think in the beginning it turned out amazing, and then it started looking like it shit. just got really gray. It went grayer and grayer, mm -hmm. and then it just looked like I was an old hag. Mm -hmm. And my yes man wouldn't even tell me <laughs> I looked like an old hag. What happened? It was a different era. Oh, mm. hag was in. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, I am so much more in love with the. What do you call this blonde? A warm blonde. It's not honey, right? Because honey's too warm. Is it a honey blonde? Is it ash? We're asking Tashina. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. Yeah, <laughs> not like I would know. That's why I thought it was an Amy conversation. <laughs> no, I'm talking. What what would you call this color of blonde? <sighs> not a honey blonde. Honey's too warm. Right? Yeah, honey's too warm. You're like an almost an in between. You're like not cool, but you're not warm warm. Because cool, you pull an ash, which we do not want, and then. Too much warmth, you pull a lot of orange. So I kind of have her like a a gold iridescent. Mm -hmm. It's pity. Pity pity. Okay, is there only two in this row? Yep. Yeah. And then the next row. No, is... I mean like the row we're getting ready to go to is three. No, it's three. So where's number three? Oh. 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 
Because then, because then the next one's four. Mm -hmm. So one of these is a three. It's fine if I have to recut. Yes, we tried a nail hair extension holder. You've done it all today. <laughs> Here. So we're, we're, we're trying this new... Okay, before we would lay the hair out on the counter mm -hmm. and it would be in rows. Mm -hmm. So we're trying to be more professional. And we mm -hmm. bought this hair extension holder, mm -hmm. but now we don't know what order we put anything in. Nice. So, um, so I'll try on hair. Because <laughs> this is all new to us. Like, <laughs> we, we like laying it out on the counter where you got... You like your noodles. See it. You just visually see it. Using this hair extension holder, I'm like, now where's the right row? Yeah. I even asked her yesterday. I was like, Mom, you gotta remember, you know, which one's right. Oh yeah. <laughs> so, anyways, okay. So hopefully we're gonna get done here within a few minutes, hour, I don't know, and show you the final look. Even though you guys know what the final look looks like. Beautiful. You know what the final looks like, looks like, right? Right? Do we need mm -hmm. to really wait till the end? No. Like. And they'll see it Friday. We can, you, we can, we can flash up a picture of what I normally look like with it. Finish, 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 finish. Yes. Yeah. So, anyways, um, hopefully by Friday. Oh, because we're filming Friday's video tomorrow. Mm-hmm. Mm, wow, you guys are gonna get the quick turnaround here. Um, yeah, because Friday I'm super busy. Hopefully tomorrow, uh, I think they're going to be so busy trying to put that roof back together. So I was told they were going to place the four or the six by sixes today in cement. Yeah. Because tomorrow they were supposed to be putting the roof back together. They are still jackhammering. So my question was, why are they jackhammering? Like, why didn't they just dig new holes? Yeah. That's what I would have done. Maybe that's more work help a girl out are we gonna go to Coachella next year if it's as lame as this year <laughs> no we will not spend the money <laughs> is that what your question was <laughs> so hey there's a good one guys in your comments below why don't you leave your comments on whether you think that Coachella was lame this year as a lot of people said it was from your from your viewpoint like from what you've seen on social media, from what you've seen on the news, do you think Coachella was really lame this year? Because even while, even the Wall Street Journal did an article on how uh, the mansions that most of these companies hold their big private parties in for the influencers and whatnot, we're not renting the big mansions this year. So there's been a decline in Clinique and Anastasia Beverly Hills and all these big companies there's been a huge decline in them renting these mega mansions for their private parties. They are now going to hotels. So, mm. We'll see how weekend two turns out. So we'll see about weekend two. Weekend one seemed to have some celebrities there. Yeah. Taylor Swift was there with her boyfriend. Mm -hmm. uh, I think I've seen a clip of uh, Justin, Justin Bieber, Bieber was there with his girl. I mean like, so I guess there were some celebrities there. Yeah. I. But it doesn't seem like the lineup of singers and people were that great. Mm -hmm. So even though some celebrities went, it just seemed there like their lineup was lame. I don't know. I don't know. Sound off below. Never been. I really don't have a desire to go. I hear it's a lot. It's a lot what? Like just the, doing the festival. A lot to go to it or a lot to... A lot to just attend. Where's the The walking. It's in... California. Oh my God, what's it called? Oh, okay. Spring. Yeah, yeah. You know, but, but it's, it's near Palm Springs. Palm Springs. But I've heard it's very dirty and hot and- Hot not, days, freezing nights. Not very accommodating for bathrooms. Like it's not, Yeah. I don't know. It doesn't sound like the Four Seasons to me. <coughs> it doesn't sound like a place that I would be thoroughly enjoying. I don't know. Anyways, guys, leave your comments below on the Coachella thing. Um, I think Fab's more interested in going than I am. <laughs> it just it just seems like a hot mess to me. But anyways, leave your leave your comments below. Love to know what you guys think, and I cannot wait to bring you 
Fashion Friday's video. So we will catch you later. Bye-bye.